Hello my viewers. I First of all, I just want to reach out there to my viewership and find out if anybody out there uh, that does videos on YouTube uh, is doing live shows and is using a Linux operating system. I seem to be having a problem setting it up with Zorin 5. If any of you out there are using Zorin or Ubuntu to do your live shows, I'd appreciate a hand with this because I really don't want to have to use Windows. It's just such a virus magnet. Sorry. The other thing is that Google Plus has thrown up some roadblocks and hoops for me to jump through uh, to be able to reply to people's comments on the videos. So if I don't reply to your comment, please don't take offense. Uh, if you really have to get a hold of me, please either email me or private message me. Private messaging me is probably the best way because the emailing me is probably, believe it or not, not as reliable. Spam filter that uh, Thunderbird has can sometimes be a little tricky. Today I want to show a, a run capacitor here that is sold by Diversitech. This is a multi-value capacitor, dual capacitor that is. Uh, this side is for Herm as in for your compressor and the other side here would be for your fan, at least the instructions. Here are the taps right up here as you would normally see on any dual run capacitor. On the bottom here you'll see where you can adjust your values okay, for both your compressor and your fan and that would be according to uh, this particular chart right here and this chart for the uh, different values that it can be set up for. Let's do an example here. I have my trusty HS36 multimeter set for capacitance and let's find out we'll put one of the probes on common and the other in fan and we come up with what is it Becky? 5.1 0.5.1 .1. Okay, so it's uh, five microfarads, probably, right? And that's just the way that the, the switches here are set up. So let's say, for example, you want to set it up for 10 microfarads. Uh, let's see, the first three switches are going to be set to one, and the last one is to zero and that's for 10 microfarad for the fan side and now we'll read it and what do you get Becky what do you see 10.1 10.1 10 okay good uh, the same thing holds true right here on the compressor side of the run capacitor here uh, Let's say, well, let's first of all, let's see where we're set up. Let's see where she goes. 30.4. 30.4, okay, so chances are it's set up for, right now for 30 microfarads. So let's say we want to set it up for 40 microfarads. That would be, uh, let's see, one, 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 zero. So down here, we'll set one, 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 and the other zero. Okay, so now, now let's see where she goes. One on common, the other on, on Herm, as in for the compressor side. Let's see where she goes. 40.6. 40.6. Okay, well this would work out really good. So, uh, anyway, again, that's the switch cap dual multi-value capacitor by Diversitech. 
Okay, I also want to talk about something that is sort of related to the uh, HVAC industry, or that can be related, um, especially in the future. And that would be tiny homes. Maybe you've heard of tiny homes, okay? Maybe you haven't, but anyway, I've been doing a great deal of research on tiny homes. Online, on YouTube, I've seen where a lot of the builders of tiny homes have installed mainly window shakers as an air conditioning system or no air conditioner at all. And of course in some climates you need an air conditioner uh, and but yet uh, you don't really need much of an air conditioner. A window shaker of course like a 5000 BTU window shaker is a perfect match usually for a, like a uh, 200 square foot tiny home. But the problem is uh, efficiency, okay? Like let's say you wanted to go completely off-grid using solar panels and or wind power. I think that a 5000 BTU mini split or ductless system would be a perfect match for a tiny home, especially for high efficiency. That way you wouldn't need such a large array of solar panels or uh, a, uh, a lot of wind turbines or even batteries to power your tiny home. I think the perfect example of what tiny homes out there that are being built are uh, like tiny Texas homes. A couple others, I'll, I'm going to list some builders that uh, I've been keeping an eye on and I'll list their channels down below in the description. So uh, uh, check it out, and this is kind of a message, you might say, really to the manufacturers of uh, ductless systems, that they may want to get with the tiny house uh, community. Right? And of course, this is also to give uh, my viewers out there some inspiration on maybe even building tiny homes. You go out and you tear down a bunch of crack houses and use that lumber. You can sell those tiny homes and make money. I know that not all air conditioning techs out there are rolling in the dough, so this is to give you some ideas on what, what to do, uh, how to maybe you can expand on your, your businesses. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to somebody giving me some tips on how I can do my show live using a Linux operating system.